Like it's Bex from Channel Bex Bug Out Survivor. And I'm building up a little woodsman belt because somebody asked about uh, the water storage nets that they saw on one of my packs. And these can be mollied on to a kit, a pack, or they can be placed on a molly belt and also worn on a 58 belt or something like that. Right now, mine have just been mollied on to the outside of my pack my 38 litre uh, patrol pack and these are the water bottle nets and they're collapsible on velcro and we'll come to that in a minute and like I said I bought the 58 belt with me and underneath all my uh, attire here I am wearing a webbing belt just for back support I want to put on some other field equipment uh, that I'd usually have in the pack and I don't really need it there but I don't want to go down the road of building a full webbing I have webbing I have the 90, the 95, the 58 and uh, the MTP I have plenty of webbing so, so I don't want to be wearing a yoke and a big fat belt it's just to carry water maybe a knife and something like that put the link to these little storage nets for bottles in the description if I can remember where I got them from. The nets themselves are a single molly so you only need one loop. Now here's the shoulder pad to the little pack. I've also had these onto the shoulder. They're great to sit on a padded hip belt. So hip belt on the shoulder web in here start off by removing the actual bottle holder itself and mine I've weaved onto the molly and it looks like this let's take the bottle out and have a look the bottle is just a one litre regatta it won't fit however an algae a bit too small and the actual net itself and it has a draw toddle on it here for smaller bottles such as my 700 mil which fits flush with this um, I'm gonna fold it all up like an ammo dump pouch fold it in half two lots of velcro here and here and it has a velcro to close it all up with and it packs down like that. If I was to wear it on the shoulder harness it would look like that or on a belt it would look like that. A D-ring here so I could put a beaner on that and hang it from anywhere on the pack on your belt on your shoulder. The rear of it is one molly strap, uh, a molly loop here on a stud there to connect to and just slip the bottle back in the one litre rides above just velcro it down like that and that's ready to go on to your pack I don't always want to carry uh, the water on the pack I I'm not a fan of it two litres is two kilos it's uh, the weight of a good sleeping bag, just in water. So I'm gonna put mine on the belt. And remember, I don't want this to start becoming a webbing. I have webbing. I think I have all the things I need, such as a 58 belt, um, little new Mora knife, things like that. Maybe a water filter maybe first aid kit. I want to keep things really simple. This has a loop to attach to a 58 belt with Altoids tin and fire kit in and my water filter in there. All things that can fit onto a belt. 
So this is my 58 belt, so no particular order. I'm going to put my filter and fire kit in first. Make sure I have it the right way round. Mine will come undone on the Velcro though. I want to keep this kit pretty light on the hips. Like that. Sit that next to it. Again, things I don't always want to keep in the pack. I could put a little torch on here would be handy also. Now I have two of these, so I've constantly got two litres of water on me. But for a day hike where you don't want to take your pack out, this is going to be the next best thing. Now under here, just for a bit of back support for me, I've got an old webbing belt and mine's on a, um, a utility 58. Water, my knife, water filter. And another great thing, you can use your webbing belt like this and connect it via the molly loops. And you may decide you want to keep one of your utility pouches, which you currently say have your 58 bottle in and swap it out to one of these water container nets. Now it's no good if you're in the forces or anything because you've got to pretty much keep your 58 bottle in uh, your water utility pouch. But for field hikes and uh, days out, things where you don't want to keep the weight of the water in the pack and you want things a little more accessible such as your filter, um, Yamara. So the links to the storage nets I'll try and get into uh, a description. I don't think they were that dear. Uh, I've got a set of two. It houses everything I need when I don't want to take out a whole pack. I just want something to swig on. Maybe a knife or something like that. Okay and that is about it really. It's quick and easy simple utility belt with a decent water um, carry on it as well. Let's just see what it looks like on the webbing belt. One through the webbing, one through the pouch, back through the webbing belt and click it in. Again, I'm going to just stow it like this with the Velcro, put this on. It's pretty tidy, one each side. You can imagine it when it comes time. It's like a dump pouch, bring the net out, retrieve my bottle. I actually carried water in on one of my hammock camps just like this but a webbing belt like this with the weight of the water in so you won't need the shoulder yoke if you keep it pretty simple and just have water and your knife and things like that that would go in there I have 700 mil bottles which are exact fit for this and uh, the taller bottles like the regatta one litres are going to ride above and out of the net so if you're doing more active roles other than uh, a bit of hiking or fishing photography hammock camping things like that i wouldn't recommend these water to swig on or in my case a flask of coffee so that's how i use them storage nets so until next time, take care of yourself.